What's going on everybody? Welcome to my new home gym. So it is brand new. Literally this is, I'm actually about to do my first workout here. So, so excited to have signed on with Rep Fitness. They have provided me with all of this stuff and it's not fully finished yet. We are still working on the final touches, but we have everything kind of in its place where at least I can get a nice little upper body workout in today. So obviously we have the nice power rack, we have dumbbells set up kind of all, all over the basement right now. Uh, need a couple more dumbbell racks, but we have dumbbells from five to 150 pounds in five pound increments. Uh, and then still have to set up a GHD and some cardio equipment, but overall really excited to be able to get some work done here at home. As most of you know, I travel about 45 minutes to an hour each way to my gym at Lightning Fitness in South, in, uh, South Windsor, Connecticut. And while I love it there and I love training there, it's gonna be nice to be able to come home after work and just hit a quick workout down here. On say, you know, my bench day or even my squat day now, I can hit here. And uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be nice and add a little bit more time to my day as opposed to spending two hours in the car. So really, really exciting stuff going on. Obviously the home gym first workout here and it is official as of last night. I did receive my invite to the Arnold Strongman Classic this coming March. So it is gonna be a wildly busy weekend for me. So. A lot going on the weekend at the Arnold. Super, super excited to be working towards all that. And the work starts now for getting ready for the Arnold Strongman Classic. So let's get a little upper body pump going and we'll see how it goes in the first workout here. I think I need to get a nice picture of me right on the ceiling right there. <laughs> <Just I think. laughs> no, I'm not that conceited. <laughs> things that was extremely apparent, especially at the, uh, the Rogue Invitational, was the quickness in which my tricep fatigues. If you watch the log press, the yoke walk log press event, first rep went over, went overhead pretty easy, then it stalled out. I think I got that second rep, but I'll let you be the judge. And um, so one of the things I'm really gonna focus on over the next, the first part of my prep for the, for the Arnold is really going to just be this this endurance training of this left tricep because it's still not there. Um, going to be a little bit more proactive in terms of trying to gain full extension because I'm still short a little bit. And that is really hindering my overhead performance right now because when I get to full lockout, my elbow actually bends, the bicep contracts, recoils my arm from staying locked out. Um, and that's because what we think is that the capsule is so tight around the elbow because of the trauma that was there and the surgery that was done that I can't break through and get to full extension unless I'm pressing weight and then I'm able to force through it, but just against air, I'm not. So what we're gonna really work on is external rotation at the shoulder, elbow, and wrist, really cranking this elbow extension. Uh, it's not gonna be fun or, or you know pain-free, but it's something that's gonna be necessary going to the Arnold because as of right now, we just got the athlete list last night. We don't know the events as of yet. So in kind of thinking about what's going on, the last Arnold, we had a stone press and a dumbbell. So one can only assume we're probably gonna have a log press. Uh, they haven't had the Austrian Oak in a few years. So just kind of playing games in my head, thinking about what they might have. There is a potential to see that event again. Um, so I really need to work on the conditioning of this bad boy and get it up to where I can press comfortably for a few reps and not have it die out after one at moderately heavy weight. So that's going to be a big focus this prep going into the Arnold. We only got about, what is it? Let's see, four, eight, 12. We're about 12 weeks out, 13 weeks out. So it's, 
not that much time, but uh, you know, time to put the put the nose to the ground and go to work. That's a perfect example of how quickly that tricep dies out. <laughs> so it's only 275 pounds, not even that heavy. But again, this tricep like feels good for the first few and then goes to crap really quickly. So we're gonna stick here. This is as heavy as I'll go today. I also haven't done bench press in a really long time. It'll come back nice and quick. Like I said in the last video, I've also been kind of lazy in my training since the Rogue Invitational, simply because of everything that's going on in life. But I'm excited to get back to a plan, focus again on training, and uh, get ready for the Arnold, along with everything else going on that weekend. So hit some reps here, and then we're going to do uh, some dumbbell bench, and then some tricep stuff. So nothing too crazy today. Just trying to get a little upper body pump, and uh, you know, get the ball rolling, and uh, you prep for the Arnold. Don't tear your tricep, kids. It's not recommended. <laughs> So right now we're gonna jump into some skull crushers. I will say they typically hurt <laughs> um, ever since my surgery. You know, you've all heard me talk about it, right? The tendon exploded. I have 14 sutures in the tendon, four anchors in the olecranon to hold it all in place. When I'm loaded and in this elbow flexion position, it just pulls all on the olecranon and where the tendon is inserted. Um, but that being said, really have to work on this tricep strength as you just saw. So. I only have the bar loaded to like 65 pounds right now. I don't even know if this is gonna be heavy enough for me to push through and get to full extension. So we're gonna warm up a little bit, see how this feels, and maybe load it up heavier or stay at this weight. But I wanna hit some good reps, hoping like in the 12 to 15 range, really try to get a pump in this muscle, uh, trying to build up some of that strength. So we'll see how this goes, and then we'll judge it from there. <laughs> It doesn't feel great. Um, the worst part is, is like that eccentric motion of bringing it down. Like I said, it there's just like pulling in sharp pain all in the elbow. That being said, I did actually feel the muscle working a little bit. Huh. It's already getting puffy. That's nice. I love that for me. Um, so it's just part of this rehab, right? Dealing with pain, pushing through it. Um, even at only 65 pounds, it hurts, but we're gonna keep working. Try to get a nice little pump going get a little bit more work in, and then wrap up with this session. It's just like another issue that I have is the single arm control during a press. Um, so something that I'm working on, especially after I've done the exercise, like the main lifts and some accessories, is just doing some single arm control. Thought 75 would be okay. Obviously it's not. So I'm going to go down a little bit more and really just control the movement as much as possible, working in a good movement pattern getting a nice eccentric without the uh, tricep and elbow giving out. So this is gonna become the last thing we do because 
Honestly, I feel like my triceps useless at this point. Um, so gonna jump down a little bit lower, probably to about 60s. Hit some, try to hit some reps in like the eight rep range, and then we'll call it a day. the best ending to a workout but it was still nice to get the first workout done here in the new home gym super excited about getting some, some uh, sessions done in here obviously I have a lot of work to do in terms of my pressing but I think it's all important for you all to see that even as professional strongmen we're not <laughs> at our top end strength all the time right so took some week took some weeks off after the rogue which was much needed considering you know, I went from tricep rehab to world's strongest man training to cancer to rogue, rogue training, um, really without a break. So definitely needed some time off mentally and physically after the rogue, but excited to officially get the invite to the Armstrong Man Classic and really start digging in and training for that. This is just a starting point. I am not upset with this training session whatsoever. Um, it just gives me where... I need to go off of, and to be honest, it, it's only gonna go up from here, right? So super excited about all that. As always, make sure you check out all my sponsors down below in the description. Like, subscribe, and share the video. Check out Rep Fitness for all of your equipment needs, Gymshark for your clothing, and everybody else down below in the description. And until next time, peace out.